All right then, next time we have True Dose, Tartan Tribesmen versus Raiding Party on Arabia. And, and for this, oh, they got team colors, perfect. The uh, odds, and, odds and evens here. But for the sake of uh, getting through as many games as sets as possible today, I'll be fast forwarding it a little while, a little bit while <laughs> also trying to introduce the civilization. Uh, this positioning though, I mean, French all the way up in his own corner here. He's like left all alone, poor guy. Turned over with the Frank's pocket. Real try hard pocket save here. Uh, and gonna work out nicely for them. But Yipip for the other team also has Frank's pocket. So no significant advantage other than your common sense and decision making to um, even things out for your team. See the idle these times could pay some attention to that to see if look for any advantages. But um, Yipip fairly even in that regard. Britain's flank for John AMD, 20% faster working ranges for all of the team, and Frenchov in the little quarantine corner in the north here is with the Ethiopians, also going to benefit from the Britain's team oldest 20% faster working ranges. Looks like he's opening the... the straight archers here because no militia. No, it's, it's going men at arms. My bad. As for Raiding Party, you have Finn Golfin with the Vietnamese flank here. Nice-ish against the Britons, if you disregard the fact that uh, Britons get extra range in Castle onwards. Frank's pocket, as mentioned, and Muin with the Ethiopians here. Um, up against the Ethiopians on the top side here. So that's a flank versus flank for the Ethiopians here. Enter Frenchov's uh, militia forward here, men at arms on the way. John AMD with the Britons also opening men at arms against Finn Goldfin here, who is going the men at arms with the Vietnamese as well. He's going to be slightly later to the men at arms due to having four uh, militia to be upgraded here. Then again, he has one more to fight with, and already he's uh, having a significant HP lead over John AMD, who almost was able to take a fight before when the he's taking a bad fight now though but uh, Turundo is helping out with the scout here it's evening it out, out a bit but all in all that's a bad fight for TTT right back I'm just gonna get the water for my coffee Okay, so we're staring at an empty hill here. Let's follow the aggression, shall we? Fingolfin, very limited, limited scouting on John AMD's base, but uh, arguably gets... I don't know who gets the better value here, actually. Fingolfin did make four men at arms and sent his initial scout. Now he's lost all of it. And not really, not really doing anything else than... Uh, countering John AMD's uh, men at arms opening, which had three men at arms. So now looking looking back at it, I think John AMD, aside from having some idle piece time cost here, actually got the better end of the deal there. And up in the north, we have Frenchov with the Ethiopians men at arms forward here. Done damage, as we can see here, is uh, forced uh, forced uh, Moin to build the barracks closer to home, and. Uh, So, um, of course, Yipip to help his his flank here with the opening scouts for the Franks. While Green is on the move to hit Finn Golf in here, it's still open. Very open Franks pocket as well. I'm not sure who you should prioritize here. Probably hit the goal of going to obstruct the range follow up, maybe. Double ranges for Finn Golf in. About to be double ranges for Prince for John AMD as well. Top side, men at arms still alive. They're getting more value here from Frenchov than John AMD did on his side. One builder down, first eco kill of the game. And the archers pull up also. Good uh, good forward here by Frenchov, I have to say. He's dealing, uh, dealing significant damage to Moin here. Off wood for Moin. Of gold, so no archers for Moin here, can't really produce any units, or barely any units. Uh, 
Yeah, very good for two villagers killed by French on here. Let's see for the scouts. It's a heavy scout investment here for Trundo, but I think that's a conscious call, seeing that the opponents are quite open. Pin Golden is open. Yipip is open. That game should be over, says Real Atten. Yeah, you never know. No, but that's some uh, some huge damage done already on one side, and uh, Fien Goldin being uh, set back after not dealing any damage with his early uh, Tars as well. But this Scout's investment, I'm not loving that, considering that Yipip might be able to uh, get to the cast stage more quickly and more smoothly, having invested less into the Scouts. Uh, let's look at the food differences, 306 to 660. French of doing a heck of a job at incapacitating uh, uh, Moin's eco here, though. So Moin not having the best day at work. Also, scouting wise, you'd, I mean, this play is so weird. This starting spot here for French of he basically has to pile owners on on this side because his uh, pocket and other flank are just so far away. Look at all these kills: so far, four kills, five kills. Ethiopians fire, firing faster, so you kill builders more quickly. Snipes and Archer there. Wow. Wow, the value. This, this could be a short one. This should be a short one, <laughs> given the damage. 10 villagers killed now by TTT. Raiding party. Uh, more than, yeah, 15, 16 villagers behind here. Still committing to the archers for Moin. They're both at the open seer fire just as fast, but... Um, yeah, they both have fletching as well. Defensive tower... Wh what?! Okay, I really don't understand that tower. It prevents. No, it doesn't protect the wood line because you could just loop around and uh, stay on that side. And it doesn't quite protect the gold either. I don't understand this tower. That's a really weird tower. And the uh, French over happy with uh, having killed eight villagers by now. Probably lost count at this point. It looks like a second. Oh, this was only one range. Perks of Britain's team bonus, but second range is going back. Now in the middle, Bruno is raiding away with uh, his green scouts to deal some damage to Yipip here. The cast age is, even with those extra scouts investments of uh, Trundo, we're going to the cast age almost 30, sec 30 seconds ahead of um, Yipip and with comparable comparable uh, populations here. Fetch with Wheelbar already with uh, Ethiopians, that's also quite impressive at this stage in the game. You don't usually get that with Archer Civil designations until after cast stage is in and you have a decent ball of Archers. But uh, then again, uh, French Show barely lost any Archers against Moin. Very good for denying the barracks, denying the gold, hitting uh, Woodlands and Really winning the Ethiopian's mirror in the north here. Uh, opening up for Trundo and John named you to double up on Glen Goldin as well, who is uh, patiently massing up the archers here now and uh, already has more mass than John named More consistent numbers, maybe. Yeah, they are comparable. 20 to 21 here. Castle Age in for Yipip, also for Trundo in the pockets. They're both going to go for the knights. No surprise there. They are Franks after all. And also extending the economy of Trundle with the second town center here. There's the castle for French Show as well. We'll probably be moving out again with the archers now, soon to be crossbows. Should that Ely have had larger numbers here, I think, given the Transition to the castle age, so uh, not 100% consistent production here, but the eco KD speaks for itself. And Moin very much on the defensive in love. One builder on stone to get some towers up. Gold is protected now as well, and the house walls to limit access. I think you could still hit this woodland if you're French of though. Just move over here. I think it is expecting that this is walled by now, but it's going to find that. This is open, and it's just one crossbow here to stay at this woodland. Oh, most annoying thing ever. Two weak villagers, two, two cheap kills here if you see those weak villagers. 
No, it's crossbow up there as well. So you only get the weak ones. Moin chasing the archers now, kind of, because he has to, and he tries to find small numbers of crossbows here. Uh, if I'm trying to here, I think I'll just add some forward siege and pressure the gold even further here. Because the other two golds of Moin are close to a hill here, and that's looks like where Trenchov will be hanging out. John AMD with a forward here, coordinating with Trudeau, because they know that uh, Trenchov has done great damage to the other side. Market Wolf of Ingolfin gonna keep trying to keep it out here, and Castlate is in, but uh, Trudeau in just in time here to to uh, get some numbers down before King Golden actually can get crossbow in. Uh, if, he, if he gets enough of these archers here, then um, uh, John AMD gets a much better fight as well. He picked with the knights from pocket position to help out here. They're fighting underneath TZ Fire. Good army, good team coordination here to stay closely together with the crossbows and knights here. Twice the knights number for true though, so better. RB production for TTT here. And uh, yeah, 73 mil to 43. There's only archers still for Moin. Moin stuck in the feudal age even for a while longer, I think. is missing. Yeah, it might go up very soon. But in the meantime, we have three TCs for French over here and really extending that economy, setting up for a smooth transition to the next stage. Crossbows at it again. Are they gonna try to sit underneath this tower? Uh, they're just passing, they're just moving through here. Good <laughs> job! You had such a great opening, why are you doing this? Just casually passing, losing three out of four crossbows before even reaching this woodland. You could have just used this guy instead. So, uh, through those knights. Finding an overtrop on the woodland and buy, buy, buy villagers for Yipip here. Trudeau, six villager counts and uh, deaths and uh, or kills rather and counting nine. Yipip comes uh, brings the knights back here, but again Yipip is being slightly outnumbered here. We have Moin finally going to the castle age, uh, but will struggle very hard to keep up with uh, French Ops production here. Both players try to take the hill here, both green and yellow, and uh, Trudeau taps out actually, seeing that uh, Yipip has better numbers and better health here, and Fingolfin's reinforcements right around the corner as well. On the Oh, he's actually sniping uh, stray knights entering the field here. Oh, Trudeau, you need to get out of here. You need to get the hell out and not waste nights like this. Horrible fight for you in here. Horrible, horrible. And now that gives the the knight's lead again. Uh, John A.V. Siege Workshop on the hill. Larger crossbow numbers or matching uh, Fingolfin to the crossbow numbers. But keep in mind that Britons have that extra range as well. So even though Vietnamese have more hit points, the Britons can use that extra range to their advantage. Britons don't get thumb ring though, which means they're less efficient against uh, cavalry units and any unit because of their lower firing rate. Well, 200 villagers to 132 for uh, ETD. Large equal lead. I think all things dropping the university now for ballistics. They, that's already up and that's already on the way in for uh, John AMD here. So John AD will beat Fingolfin nicely to the ballistics here. They're both just camping one hill each here and refusing to take fights. Very equal numbers as well. It's like slight HP advantage for Fingolfin's side here. Third TC for Truno in the Franks here, so he's going to increase that villager lead over the other pocket, meaning that uh, Rundo might be getting to the Imperial Age sooner as well to unlock Cavalier and eventually Paladin. Now, crossbow masses to harass Moin's gold yet again here. Now, uh, relocating to the gold in the back. Battering Ram to make quick work of this tower. With the University app, uh, Moin could actually consider uh, going into guard towers here for defense. But that's gonna go down. 
And there will be trading crossbows here, but uh, Fenshaw has a slight numbers lead. Albeit he's fighting under tower fire. And here come uh, Yipip with a few knights to clean up the siege here. More ranges. And Imperial Age of the Oh, I didn't catch that. Yikes. Didn't realize that. No, you don't want to lose crossbow numbers on the way up to Imp. Now, dropping some more ranges to extend the numbers. Castle on the hill for Jolly AMD. Who, let's see the situation here. Could go Imp as well. Probably will once the castle is up. Because he's. No, actually, he has to do build, so I'm not sure why Jolly AMD just queued Imp. So uh, I think Goldfin with better crossbow numbers here, slightly over the Britons, but um, with uh, two of the players on through those Tartan, Tartan Primes and going to the Imperial Age here, that's going to be making a huge difference. This is a good fight for Moin to take now, because uh, French Home just reached him, now we just have to chase here, you have to chase, take out as many as possible before Racer and Arb here. But once Arb kicks it, yeah, Moin pulls back, doesn't want to risk running into... Uh, our blasts with upgrades here. Mm. See the team bolts in place for the fangs here as well. Palisades for now, but that's uh, it's, um, securing the corners for the eventual trade route. Trade route if it should come to that. TTT seem to have a large edge in this game, though. Two hundred sixty builders to one hundred seventy. Slightly less military right now. But um, stronger build tree with two players in the Imperial Age and none of the raiding party members even clicked yet. And they are preparing a trade, a trade line as well though. Stone walls going up here, securing their corners. But that's going to be an issue here on the wind side with French Hope in Imp with a couple of rams moving forward. Could go capped ram, there it is. And I guess uh, eventually a castle as well. Is he on stone here? Yeah, he's definitely on stone. So we're gonna see a castle somewhere around here, or maybe on this hill, but no need to place a defensive castle in this position. Oh, where are you going? Okay, so they're going to. The backside here to deal with Yipip's knight's numbers, so Trundo isn't alone here. Yipip could have taken that fight there because it's just knight versus knights. We have Imperial Age on the way for Trundo as well, so they're really... Really establishing a lead here. Arbalest just around the corner, Bracer isn't in either, so this isn't ideal for John and D, but uh, Yipip is uh, wasting a lot of knights here, and uh, Trundo will be up. Uh, will be hesitant to take take the fight here to try and conserve numbers for Imp, but uh, now we can chase. I think they should uh, stay together though, because that would be an even better fight, but it's definitely uh, tracking the yellow armies now, and once Imperial Age and Cavalier is in, it's um, going to be very rough for Yipip. Forward castle for Frencho on the gold here, could start taking Moin's gold even. The castle might range this tower with uh, Bracer, I'm not sure. Bombard cans added, and the Ethiopians mirror 1v1 in the right hand side here just uh, continues. King Goldfin is up, and he has a whooping 97 crossbows to become marvelous here. And that is Vietnamese crossbows that the clock is taking now. We need to take this fight. We need Cavalier ASAP and the last Imperial Age armor for Trundo here. Britons have the range, they could use that to their advantage. And uh, to take a fight now that Fingolfin just reached Imperial Age, that's one of the fight he doesn't want to take, so they should definitely, definitely provoke a fight here. Imp is in, uh, as we've seen, but uh, Arb not in quite yet, not Razor either. Cavalier, oh, fighting before Cavalier, that's bad for Trundo here with the Arbs being high, he's going to lose so many knights now before they become Cavalier. Big loss, big loss for Trundo on the way to the. To the Cavaliers here. 
But they have the heal, at least, but they're losing big numbers here. I'm not loving that fight from, uh, from Trudeau here. So that's so many knights lost before Cavalier, unfortunately. But pulling back towards Castle now. And uh, there are still some knights here to meddle in between, but now the, the, the Yipips knights are about to get us around on the arbs here. The arbs uh, of, uh, no, the knights of Yipip. Not too many of them is going imp and also not going to have so many knights to go to Cavalier. So the pockets have comparable situations here now. Weird fight to take when uh, Cavalier Rods pretty good there. We'll just stay on the hill and wait for the upgrades. Let's see the top side. Uh, Francho is pushing with. Yeah, he's added some uh, cavalry of Holland here now as well. Light cav. So, uh, Rams forward. This castle here could be contested by Trebs soon enough from the Ethiopians here. And the Moin still in the castle with all the crossbows. Not going to be able to hold off this on his own. We'd still have to appreciate uh, TTT's position here. They are with a more positive KD, they have more, 100 more eco. And we have Trebs here taking care of Fingolfin's production capabilities as well. I guess they're trying to start pushing on Yipip here now. Yipip is in Imp, is getting Cavalier. Triple stables, consistent production, and uh, I did Knights to become Cavalier. But I, in the meantime, we have Pal Paladin on the way already for Trundo. For 22 Cavalier, I guess it's, uh, it's worth it. So a defensive castle for Yippip here to keep the pressure out. Can he hold here though? There's looks like the fight's going up here again. Uh, Trudeau is losing numbers on the way to Paladin here. Not ideal at all. But uh, staying together with the Britain's crossbows here at least and diminishing some of the opening numbers. But look at the production here. It's uh, still keeping that armor number close to 100. There's this Fingal carrying this game carrying this game from Plank. He has a massive bowl of armor just waiting to engage from the other side. Yeah, some uh, pocket cavalier here from Yipip, not going to be nearly enough to hold off the Arbus push of French Hope. So French Hope is definitely making pro progress on this side. Very, very much unprotected Trebs here, though. That's dangerous. That's You can't leave Trebs like that. <laughs> like that. Won't be the end of the crossbow. He's actually going to lose uh, one Treb to crossbows here. <laughs> I think. He's going to lose a Treb to crossbow fire. Are you kidding me? It right, stays up. Better send one of those builders to repair this one. Uh, 147 military. Military counts compar comparable here, but that's mainly due to Pink Goldfin's ridiculous number here. Big issue here is that Moin is still in the castle age and uh, not really with enough uh, military to compete here. 35 paladins now for Trundo, while um, Yipip is going for um, the paladin upgrade and last attack upgrade as well, with uh, less numbers though. I uh, just saw a flare in the corner, so uh, I think want to trade by the looks of it. TTT, they set up for it a long time ago, but they haven't started any trade yet. Uh, it looks like the markets will be going up now, after this wolf has been dealt with. Why is there a trade? I guess they feel like it. they were expected to close it earlier here. TTT, I don't know. Moin really being the punching bag this game, but there's not much left of Moin's eco or army. 3 mil, 358 builders. Red is out. Some flares in the middle here. Yellow paladins, green paladins, Britain's larger range. Some mangonels to become 
on the Gers, maybe. Let's see the gold situation here, how they're holding up. John AMD is floating lots of gold here, so that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, on the Gers should definitely be affordable. And Paladin numbers. Yeah, production is higher. Numbers are higher for Trundo here. Good fights for, uh, for TTT here, I think. They're breaking through the stone walls as well, maybe expecting that there's trade already, but um, but uh, there in fact isn't. Moin is trying a reboom to the side here, but uh, on the top side, Epip needs to attend to this as well, and he just doesn't have enough uh, paladins to get around there. Castle goes down for Epip, he's reacting immediately with a defensive castle in home base. And French show is just making uh, making quick work of Moin here, who is going in pure late. Where is that IPTC? Okay, so if this one gets trapped, tra then uh, no in pure late for Moin. Does French uh, does French show actually expect this? Okay, so Moin start preparing this TC now. <laughs> that's uh, that's totally on the down. But uh, GG is called first game for TTT here. But a bit of back and forth. Uh, some questionable fights for TTT there before core upgrades as well. Let's have a look at the stats. Nice KD for the players here to know, with a negative KD, losing quite a few knights and cavaliers there. In other words, ET opens with the best eco of all here, or one of the earliest, earliest to tweet ETs actually. Nice, smooth up times here, two seconds of idle time only, I think, for that uh, population. And then, uh, yeah, biggest boom for ET, ET opens here. That's almost kind of surprising. Epip with some <laughs> huge uh, APM spikes here. I don't know what was going on at that point, but uh, yeah, cool chart to see. Let's uh, bring up the other game, second game, or first game, depending. I don't know which, which game they played first, but this was Arabia. This is the second game on four lakes. Okay. So a uh, more open map than Arabia. It's tougher to full wall. It plays out quite differently because you have to wager your priorities as to how much you want to invest into the fish on four lakes we need to set the names again and ttt uh, won the first game now we're going to the next one i want to win <laughs> that's the response to if the settings are okay we're going to speed this up a bit as we don't with the other games here because because Dark Age. But let's have a look at the sieves here. Again, a mirror in the pocket. They're really try hard in the sieves here. Lithuanians for four lakes. You can go straight to wood because you start with plus 150 food, uh, which will make it easier to get the dock up earlier and get the fish boom started earlier. And a different approaches here. Yipip goes to food first. As is conventional with most tips, but Trundo invests more heavily to wood, so Trundo is going to have a good head start to the fish boom over Yipip here, I think. That should boost the early game economy, allow for more scouts earlier on, or just a um, quicker and smoother cast leech. Good morning, just for fun. So, uh, Lithuanian's pockets here, let's see for the sides. We have Japanese for John AMD. Nice counter to cavalry play. Knight flank sim for the fully upgraded archers. Even cavalry archers are fully upgraded for Japanese and they are seen surprisingly seldom, uh, given that fact. Hunts on the other flank here for TTT. Uh, also a great sim for four lakes because you never need to build houses. It's so much easier to sustain uh, your fish boom and build your production and army production, not needed to think about getting housed. For the other team, we have a dip pump with a Malay here. Also a good flank sieve because they uh, go after the ages 66% faster. Essentially three, three villagers there compared to generic uptimes. And Japanese for Finn Goldfin as well. This is almost a full mirror, but except for um, Malay versus uh, Malay and, uh, and Hans being the difference here. Let's slow it out a bit because now we hit the village. 
There's going to be some naval fighting here, I'm sure. Wait, but uh, what's up here? Malay and Lithuanians. Yeah, they don't need to worry about this dock being taken anytime soon. I think corner docks seem fine as well for for now. But down here, fire galleys all the way out and French of yeah, up with 25 pop a bit later here. Look at the pockets as well. The fact that uh, Trundo went to went to wood first and then got the dock up earlier is giving Trundo such a nice lead in the fishing ship eco. Two fish, but uh, two fish that's already a more significant uh, fishing uh, eco. I played this map two days ago and the fishing boats keep going idle even though I kept putting on fish. Yeah, it's, it's not specific to this map. I think it bugs on other maps as well. But probably not a priority to fix. Alright, so we see walls going up here for Yipip in the pocket. Uh, overall, this is quite open. Should absolutely pay for scouts play. And Yipip is out here with the first few scouts. Always oh, been probably pushing deer as well. He has no intel whatsoever on the enemy sides here. In fact, their scouting or as a whole, as a team, is very limited here. Good head start with the naval fighting for the Finn Gold Finn here with the Japanese, though. He's. Uh... About to lose a fire gallery, but he has the second one out already and will be repairing the other one. I think uh, our red friend here has a good chance at uh, contesting this lake. But let's see for the scouts of Yipip here, what he can accomplish here. Reading party hungry for a win now, for sure. Uh, getting a villager sniper, first villager kill of the game, I think. Eco KD 1 0, Finn Goldfin with 1 as well, but that's a fishing ship. Yeah, the improved fish borders mod, I've heard of that. That basically shows that square all the time without needing to select it, I think. So that can uh, can be useful for sure. Oh, we're looking at Gaia. Oh, Builder Snipe. Nice one, Fingolfin. Fingolfin in it to win it here. And he's going to take this uh, lake for his own in the south here. And he's going to restrict the, the fish of the Hunts player here as well. Which is huge for the food income and the transition to the next stage. We see uh, Prencho going for the scouts as well. In fact, all of TTD are going scouts. <laughs> which is... Uh, which is um... Pretty big. Okay, we're docking the north here as well. Difton has seen the blue dock, so he's going to contest that with his own forward here. Uh, John named the luckily unaware of stuff going on here. House walls, they're going for the full team wall here, and I think they might succeed here with Fingolfin's effort. Yipip going to the wood line here, and I don't know, maybe he wants to connect here or something. And then you need the last bit for the team wall to be fully functional. Uh, we see the beginnings of it kind of on the John A. as well, some house foundations going up here. But um, in the meantime, uh, Frenchov has been uh, heavily pressured by Yipip's uh, scouts opening and. Um, The Knights follow up to be coming eventually as well. I think the full team wall initiative is going to do raiding party big favors to keep out the earlier castle age of the Lithuanians here. Yep, here's the last bit of uh, walling here for Difton, and obviously you need to cover the north side here as well. I I'd wall here, I would like that actually to um, secure this gold within my walls as well, it could be useful. Very limited scouting here for the players. Basically been focusing mainly on water here. Castage is in for Trudo and uh, how many fish here? Two docks, ten fish. Double stables, I'm sure. And then being Lithuanians you have to contest the relics as well. So that's a downside of walling like this actually. You do secure two relics. Three relics instead of inside the world's game, maybe it's not that bad. <laughs> but it could be an issue depending on how you wall. Scouts doing some work here for TTT still. Triple Scouts investment. John AMD with the Japanese going up here with uh, the double range archers now. Did. Okay, I said Triple Scouts, but that was just 
Blame these starting scouts, I think, to be good. Cast stage, one minute off for John AMD here. Could definitely be doing doing some damage to Malay here now, considering that Dictom isn't up yet. Not taking the deep fish here. I think it's a byproduct of um, uh, scouting on the water here for Fingolfin. He's um, patrolling the shoreline with the fire galleys here. Five fire galleys shouldn't be easy for French job to regain this, but these these guys they need to go fish. Four villagers here. What are they up to? They're sure as hell aren't completing the walls here. And now here comes Trudeau to snipe these. I think. I hope. <clears throat> that knight was looking straight at these four builders and they are out to live. What is this? Hello? Okay, so we have two issues here. Fingo thing idling four villagers for nothing. And uh, Trundle just passing the villagers. Now we're gonna see them though. The knights here. Quick houses. Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me you're gonna go all the way to the edge here now. Ah, that's the last bit there. Oh, so close! So close! <laughs> Almost. Almost. But these guys, they were idling forever. They should have been put to work earlier. Uh, Diftom taking the responsibility for the dock in the north here. is taking out drone named these fish echo. He's taking it out, I think, already. Uh, except for one. And uh, yeah, there's two docks for John MD though. That could be an issue here. Malay in the cast stage now. But the crossbow's already in for John MD with Bodkin. So he's uh, going to contest the Malay numbers before the next age uh, sets in here. I'm uh, pretty sure Trundle got some juicy kills down here as well. But now, oh come on, Tingolfin, get that one up. <laughs> Oh, it's going to come in again. Found a weak spot here. Found the point of entry for the knights to just run in and roam like crazy, raiding Fingolfin's home eco. That's just one tile away from uh, evading the Titanic there for Fingolfin. But now he has uh, nine Lithuanian knights inside his base he needs to handle. And if there are any relics collected here for Drundo as well, that's going to boost the attack. I don't think that's the case. Problem with team walls is if it's open one place is open for the whole team, yes. I don't believe in team walls. Save that for arena and hideout and these kinds of maps. So good trade here for uh, Trundo. He has uh, better eco than uh, Yipip and he has way more knights as well. 23 knights now for Trundo. We see the Hunts player going cab arches as well. But the player taking a heavy beating, they are <laughs> consciously hitting Finn Goldwyn first here because he is in fact the higher rated player on the team, as far as I remember. So it's probably a uh, well, well weighed choice to go for that. Now the Knights need to break in again though, maybe they find some weak spot in the wall to hit or something. But the overall army for... army strength at least for uh, Drudo's start and Tricepan here should be better with more Knights from the pocket. Malay versus Japanese crossbows here, not looking good for the Japanese. That's a good cleanup for Diff Tom here on this mini hill here. Maybe so small that John MV doesn't quite realize it's, it's in fact a hill. Looks like John MV has reclaimed the fish here. And yes, he still has a builder in the corner here as well, taking some houses. And Okay, so good, good job at taking back water, I guess. Third TC for Trudeau down here. But uh, now we're running into increasing numbers of knights from Yipipir. So 
So Ditto after cleaning up the Japanese crossbows will be counter-attacking here with a solid mass of crossbows. And look at that, using the minimum range to and splitting up the archers to focus down that Magnell with a minimum of losses, I think. There we go. Uh, which takes John AMD of gold. This is the only gold that John AMD has access to inside of his walls, as far as I can see. So his gold spots are... No, oh, well, never mind. Never mind. It's there. It was hidden behind the TC. He's fine. He's being chased by uh, Trundo's mass of knights here. And this should be an easy cleanup for Trundo if the plus two is in. And it is indeed. Goodbye, Dippons archers. Hunts, Cavalry Archers going for some raids as well here now. We have the Yip Yip with the uh, same number of knights as the uh, other pockets here now, but there's 10 villagers behind in Eco, and, but he may have collected some relics. Let's see. One relic for Yip Yip, but two for Trundo. So Trundo overall in a better spot here. Fingolfin lost lots of villagers to the raids due to one tile gap in the wall here, causing Huge damage to his own. Raiding party overall by, behind by 30-ish villagers now, but at least uh, Fingolfin is keeping uh, French Job of fishing, so French Job will have to trust the farm eco here. Another run in up in the north here, and the first one situation with uh, Trundos knights going in front, followed by John and B's new wave of crossbows here. And uh, we'll be needing uh, Yip Pips Knights numbers here, and they are joining in. And numbers wise, even though Diff Tom will be losing some crossbows now, he's fighting under TC fire. Oh, make an opening here or something. Okay, it is a better fight than expected. That's uh, taking out Diff Tom's crossbows, but uh, at the loss of lots of um, knights and uh, crossbows for TTT as well. So raiding party actually uh, keeps a, a uh, military lead here after this uh, is hit. Also moving back was a misclick. Ah, okay. Oh, what's going on down here? Cavalchers versus crossbows. So cavalchers win big time HP wise, but the uh, firing rate is uh, quicker for the crossbows, especially if they have thumb ring, which I can't check in capture H. But Hans Cavalry Archers, if you get it off with them, or any save that has good Cavalry Archers, it's just going to be a huge pain in the ass to deal with. Horse Collar for Yipip now is going to boost the farm economy, of course, uh, once it kicks in. That's quite a healthy fish eco going here as well, so Horse Collar not too late in this regard. I think its uh, timing is okay. Stonewall's now going down the middle. I think uh, TTT are thinking long term about the trade route from here to here, maybe. And now Yipip is chasing cavalry archers with knights, but that usually doesn't doesn't quite add up. That monk is in danger, by the way. He could be sniped any moment. Taking the hill with the cab archers, nice. And the cab archers production has stopped though. Is it a eco issue here? Wood, gold, no, not really. Idling for imp, maybe. Could just sell some food here and go imp for French of. So big fight on the hill here. Uh, I think both with a very nice mass of crossbows. They have uh, the HP lead by far here over the cavalry archers of French Job. Good fight, keeping the hill, diminishing cavalry numbers. Uh, true though, however, very low on knights here. Can't really assist his uh, Han Hanik teammate here. And he people about to break through here for some juicy raids on French Job's economy. This could be devastating with uh, all these armies entering here. And you don't have enough pocket knights to keep up here. Trundo did have two relics last time I checked. Could be that that's still the case. Uh, where was the relics count again? Three relics now against the Epic one. So that's something, but the numbers are of essence here 34 to 12.
Yeah, that's true. Um, Trindle lost a lot of uh, knights in the engagement under Diftom's DC earlier. Killed crossbows, but also lost lots of knights, so that's a big trade off for raiding party. Yeah, so the Twinings player stopped the night production for, uh, for um, a while there. Oh, do you get crossbows in the detail. I didn't, near, didn't realize that. That makes perfect sense, actually. Uh, good way to save numbers. Now, Yipip going in for the raid here. He's going in, so it's a questionable choice to commit knights to raiding now, but he's going to get great value, of course, sniping villagers here, but he also risks losing quite a bit of knights while still having two minutes to the Imperial Age here. So, I'm um, not sure if I'm loving this. It's 25 knights to 39 now, and they're both going in at almost the same time here. So, if Yipip loses large knights' numbers here, it's uh, suddenly Trundle's advantage again. Here's a nice choke point for. Pingolfin's crossbows, though. Are they are they actually stuck here now? Are they trapped? It's huge, actually. Could now use the cavalry arches and the knights of Turundo to take out a lot of Yipip's knights here, unless they are able to escape. And why isn't Pingolfin helping you? <laughs> oh, it is open. It is open. It's just that pathing was. Uh, it must have been a misclick or something, or pathing completely fucked because it looked like they were trying to break out there. So, Fingolfin with the Japanese here is going to have a huge ball of crossbows now to become Arbalest. He has good army production, just like in the Arabia previous Arabia game, raiding party 180 military to 101 here, and they are about to have their whole team in the Imperial Age as well. Well, everyone is going Imperial Age, but the raiding party has 80 more military and dropping a forward cast, which is already quite huge. Uh, only Palisade walls, so <laughs> their, their home ecos are very fragile here too. Two enemy raids to see stone walls going up now. Could be seeing some markets eventually as well. John AMD with the defensive cast layer. I like that initiative. Malay is up, getting Arbless and Bracer, while John AMD is also up and getting Bracer, but hasn't kicked Arbless as far as I can tell. Might be queued behind some archers here somewhere. But that means that the Malay gets Arb, Bracer, and Chemistry well ahead of John AMD here, and that Mangadel isn't going to be contributing much to his society because uh, he's being outranged by the Arbalists here. Alright, good hit, but... <laughs> Arbalest on the way for Pingolfin as well. He has been... has not kicked Bracer, he's getting Arb first actually. And then there's capped Ram for the Malay, that's what they get, they don't get Seed Ram. Taking some neutral map control here with the TC on the gold in the middle for Yipip as well, and I'm definitely liking raid, raiding party's position here. Yes, they're behind in eco, but they have twice the military, which is frankly quite ridiculous with all of the players in imp and getting the proper upgrades as well. well about to have 100 Japanese arms on the hill here, and accompanied by Lithuanian's knights with two relics. There are actually two more relics to take <laughs> here for Yipip, so why, why hasn't he done that yet? They don't have them scouted. Seize this one. So 44 Cavalier to 51 for um, uh, Turundo here. But Cavalier 20... No, okay, the arms are helping out here, but taking this fight before it kind of... Kind of hurts. Heal advantage for Finn Golden though. And all in all, I think this is a better trading party. Look at the ADs here. Cavalier is in in a few seconds here. Uh, and Trudeau loses a lot. And uh, Diff Thompson is uh, pushing hard in 
on John AMD in the north as well. Arbs, cap trams, castles will be at the risk of going down here. We need some traps here though, I think. Seventy-one arms to thirty-six. Uh, a raiding party with the military domination here. Castle now to further secure these neutral resources as well. And the Hans now heavy cavalry archers, but only twenty-eight in numbers. So only three times more army, exactly. <laughs> Little damage there for raiding party. Who cares about the eco? They have tri three times the military. And this is Division 4, mind you. Paladin incoming, it's on the way for Yippipir, who has way, way, way more Cavaliers already than um, Trudeau. 30 Paladins and 116 Arbs, or if you count everything here, almost 170 Arbs. Oh, Was that a, the only or something? Or it's just, just the Arbs fighting here. They're just standing here, hitting each other. <laughs> Yeah, uh, <laughs> the GG can't be, can't be far off. It's uh, all of the John AMD's eco very exposed now with the castle down and cap trams. Dealing with the buildings here as well. Uh, yeah, they're trying for stone walls here, but that's not going to keep uh, Diftom's push away because he's already in. <laughs> uh, orbs on the hill here for... Uh, Pink so what, what happened to that castle foundation though? They didn't get to complete it, did they? Yep, yep still only two relics, three relics for Trudeau. But uh, pushing on both sides here with Arbs and Paladin in one minute. Again, taking the fight before Paladin here, but uh, more numbers. Paladin on the way for Trudeau as well, but oh, actually a few seconds apart. Elite Tarkin for Venture. Uh, That's a good switch, but I don't think it's going to happen in time, sadly. It's going to need uh, need more numbers here, too. Uh, the, the ridiculous numbers of Tarkins here. And uh, besides, there's already lots of little paladins for Yipip to take out the Tarkins. So I don't even think you need to do a help switch. John AMD taking a beating here. He's uh, going to lose his ranges uh, soon enough here as well, trying to desperately trying to remass. There are nine ranges now. I'm pumping out our list out of ten ranges, but just such a good spot for um, for raiding party right now. Hmm, 33 Paladins to 54, still solid numbers lead for Yippip here, they're getting conscription to boost the production speed as well. But the main issue here is that we have a whooping 180 Arbalists out on the field for raiding party. Uh, twice the military numbers still, and they're ca even catching up in the economy here. Cavalry Archers for French over here doing their thing. We have 42 heavy cavalry archers now. And get chemistry. <laughs> oh. That's one you definitely want for extra damage for your archers and cav cavalry archers for that matter. You need chemistry when you have 100 arbs though. <laughs> It's a big fight on the hill again here, but uh, Yipip has more paladins than the opposing pocket, and um, Fingolfin has more arbalists than the Hunts player has cav archers. And uh, the one on one on the top here, John MD is trying to hold on here, is pumping out archers, um, arbalists from these ranges here. 
Ondegur could be a good addition here. We already had the Siege Workshops for the Capped Ram, so might as well just research Ondegur and uh, get into that as well. Looks like a good fight and a kind of a cleanup in the middle here for Raiding Party. And they haven't been hit at home since the breakthrough through the walls here ages ago, so... So they really have fine spots here to close this one out. 234 military to 138, and the build your numbers now even. Hey, hello, little trouble. Thank you so much for the raid. Much appreciated. So I'm uh, casting League of Empires today. Maybe some of the viewers are in that league. It, it's a 3v3 league arranged through the League of Empires Discord. And... Um, and um, yeah, it's a 3v3 league uh, by now with six divisions for season 4. It used to be four divisions, but I've extended it. And this is currently uh, the fourth division I was planning on casting all this day, but uh, we'll see <laughs> how far I can go. I've been live for four hours already, so might get to a point where I have to give in. But we're having some good team game matches here. Quite unless that typical late game lag could be a bit of a capture age issue as well, but I've grown too used to these advanced stats here. Alright, so down here still, heavy characters at large for French is uh, massing up on elite skirms now. That's a desperation move in team games mostly. Because you're really losing, uh, uh, risk losing them to the cavalry numbers. Consistent higher production of paladins here for YPP has 54 paladins to Trundos 7. And uh, Trundo now taps out GG well played by John MD and GG well played it was by raiding, wait, raiding party here. Uh, did I get this correctly? Is is it one one? I think it is. I'm suddenly not sure that I got it collected. Wrong. Trudeau actually made more paladins total, but uh, took uh, worse fights. One one, thank you. So I wasn't wrong. So that's the second game of the division four cast here. Uh, let's browse through the stats, and then. Uh, then move on to Division 3. Microphone problem. Sometimes it uh, it, um, it cracks up a bit when I switch between the uh, point of view and the scenes and stuff, but I hope it's not too bad. Best of two ending on one. Yes. Some uh, even matchups here. Let's see the eco upgrades just for the fun of it here. And we'll eventually get to the APM chart as well. Yippee with the uh, scouts opening there. Did get good value on the other side. Trudeau go going more for a fast castle ish approach, but got good value from the knights as well. TTT stands for Trundos Tartan Tribesmen, and I couldn't fit it in the text here. So uh, I can see how that's confusing because we have time to trolling in the first division as well, same <laughs> same abbreviations, but uh, that might fit in, so I'll make sure to add uh, that for the first division. Let's do a quick look at the APM chart here. Now let's uh, bring up the next set from the third division.